the true victim of the government shutdown has made himself painfully clear. It's not the 9 million children who still don't have funding for their health care. It's not the men and women in our armed forces who won't get paid until the government reopens. It's not the 800,000 dreamers who are terrified that a dusty and demented racist is going to deport them to nations they've never lived in. It's Donald Trump, who has found himself unable to fly to Mar-a-Lago for his $100,000 a ticket inauguration gala. Yes, it's true. Instead of rubbing shoulders with the few Boca Raton Cadillac dealers who will still allow themselves to be seen in public with President Shithole and then enjoy some golf, Donald Trump has to work for the first weekend in several months. Instead, he will be sending a taped video message to the guests at Mar-a-Lago, according to the Wall Street Journal. It appears that our poor president is being held hostage by his own advisors. Last night, it was reported that career racist and current chief of staff John Kelly, the supposed adult in the room, rejected the deal on behalf of the president even though Trump wanted to agree with it so he could get to move on. Now reports are indicating that white supremacist neo-Nazi Stephen Miller and the former head of our illegal torture prison camp in Cuba, John Kelly, are intent on refusing to concede an inch even though Senate Democrats have lived up to their reputation as submissive wimps and have made it clear they're willing to bend over backwards to give Trump and his demonic tutors everything they want.